script. It's like Matrix without the M. We've got HSPA Plus here, as you can see, with the uh, little H plus in the upper corner here. Let's take a look at the hardware. Right, I know you facing camera here. Uh, the screen is QHD resolution, which is 960 down by 540 across. So you can see the advantage here. So you get sort of another row down here on the bottom, which is still the standard area. It's kind of interesting if you look at the Google widget here. It doesn't look side to side like in all other Android phones. Looking on the side, we've got nothing here. Uh, this has a really unique docking capability to actually work with that dock and that small device, sort of like the Palm Folio, but sort of actually done right. We've got an HDMI out. Let's take a look at this device. It is dual core, one gigahertz, so it should be blazing fast. Let's take a look at sort of what it's like to open up various screens. Uh, we're going to try to go to a few websites here. It's kind of hard uh, holding. Camera in one hand. This also is one gigabyte of RAM, which is just ridiculous uh, for a for a smartphone. So it should scream compared to other phones. So let's see how long it takes to load PocketNow.com. We're on the HSPA Plus network right now, but of course we are in Vegas and there's lots of people here. Now, in terms of the screen clarity, it does look better uh, than the standard WBGA screen. It's more crisp and clear, as we can see close up. The real advantage, again, comes with the additional screen height, so you get a lot more on the screen at one time with this. Uh, so here comes the full version of Pocket Now. Really curious to how it pans and scrolls, because the processor is really told when you're zooming in, multi-touch, all that kind of thing. We've got a very thin bezel here. Okay, so let's let it finish loading, and then we're going to move around on the page and see what it's like. All right, stop loading. Let's see what it's like. So we're going to flick scroll. It's not responding right now. Assuming that this software is a little bit early, because it is not. There it goes. And uh, some other Atrix Cs, I guess that you could say, uh, that, that I was messing with earlier were this choppy. So probably need some optimization there. Let's jump into the settings and see what version of Android we're running here. Uh, we are on Android 2.2.1. Let's try to get really close to text so you can get an idea for how clear it is. The camera will focus. It's definitely an improvement over the typical WBGA screens. They're not a mega leap. Definitely welcome to see higher resolutions on Android devices.